This is the Experiencer Project with Ivan and Madison, where we go new places, experience new cultures, try new things, and eat new foods. Our goals are to grow, be better humans, and open our minds. For the past two weeks, we've been in the Bay Area, visiting family, taking many sunset hikes, eating incredible food, celebrating our sister's birthday, and meeting our first nephew, Marty the Gecko. Now, we're headed home. The drive from the Bay Area to Los Angeles is an extremely boring road if you take the fast way, if you take I-5, um, which will save you like over an hour, but you're just on this two-lane road like this forever. I even I do like to at least look at these farms and look at the trucks like and guess what the fruits or vegetables are that are growing but even that is a boring game because we never will know the answer you can see the tomatoes so cool i don't usually use the word boring but when looking up fun things to do on the way home every website we found said take the 101 a trip down the i5 is sure to be boring so we said challenge accepted and we saw a sign for this farm stand and we're going to see what it's all about. Where is the red barn? I don't know what that is, like onions I think? Tractor. Or potatoes? Cherries. It's actually kind of cool even if we don't end up seeing a farm stand that we are seeing the farms a little bit closer but a little bit slower. Like hey I see the red barn. This is awesome. I'm excited. It's organic, so it's gonna be expensive. There we are at El Bosque Farms. El Bosque means forest in Spanish. Did you know that? No. Forest farms. This one's yellow too? They're both are? Wow! So I'm super sweet. Bye, me. Sunflowers. And they got their pumpkins growing. It's fall, y'all. This is awesome. We got our goods. We got the goods. A lot of spaghetti squash waiting to go out. Oh, you can see the peppers growing right here. These are the ones we bought, the red ones. I just stepped in the mud. This is cool. Let see where the food we just bought is grown. We got two big bags of organic produce for $5. Yeah. At its farm. We got to, I mean, we walked around and saw where it grew. Oh, looks a ladybug. I don't know if you saw that. I-5 is a pretty boring road, but that was actually a really cool stop. Yeah, you could do your grocery shopping for the week. <laughs> yeah. On the way over. There are farms. Are they farms? They're little, like, trees. One game for $2. That's a lot. The play area. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. That building isn't. I'll go to the church and take this one. You got too big. Probably too big. You need a hat for your dog. Come on in. <laughs> Basically, Joanna Games. I want to show you something. Do not throw away your spice jars, ever. For your great grandchildren, so they can sell them. Thirty bucks. Save your old bottles. You can sell them for ten dollars. This one still has stuff in it. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. Right over my house. 
<laughs> That's fitting. We knew about Bravo Farms because we always see a million signs for it whenever we take this drive. So it's basically like if Cracker Barrel and Bucky's had a baby and added a playground. But what we're most excited about is the keys. Oh my gosh, I love it. that the cheese curds, especially the white cheddar, are their classic, original amazingness. Orange cream, horchata, chocolate. Banana milk. Ooh, banana milk vanilla. And then regular. It has the goat gouda, root beer milk. Ooh. Does it smell awesome? It smells good. White cheddar cheese curds. Mmm. Yeah? It's like still moist. It's pretty fresh. That's good stuff. Not a sharp cheddar though, not a sharp white. No. But I think part of that also is that I think curd is like the first stage in the process. Mmm. And it's the age that makes them sharp, is mm. everything. Yeah. Takes me back to poutine. Don't have to eat all these. We can make poutine when we get home. I don't think this will make it there. No. <laughs> it kind of reminds me in a good way of string cheese yes okay i was thinking the exact same thing but like the adult version the fancy more expensive <laughs> adult version <laughs> yeah we should save the gouda i think it's goat gouda the seasonal one yeah limited edition root beer milk It definitely is root beer milk. What? I don't know what that means. It's like if you just let the, the in a root beer flow, you just let all the ice cream melt and reach the same consistency. And that's what I like though. I mean, this is really good. It's good milk. And now I'm kind of curious about the plain milk. Gotta go back in. Dang, that's really good. Okay. Everybody, root beer milk. Better than strawberry, chocolate, any of it. I'm not sure how you make it. I'm assuming you just put a little bit of root beer in your milk, but it is dang good. And plant number 06462 is the place to be. Rosa Brothers Milk Company. Okay, I'm gonna have one more cheese and then a mm -hmm. sip of the root beer and I'm done. What? I'm sure we were gonna eat all this before we left. I want this to be the final taste. Mm, I see. Why are you being so quiet? Um, it's still so I don't scare the cows. <laughs> Dang, they stink. Another road trip. Another time to sample all of the food at Bordeaux. Right, what is this? Cuban French toast. We're just butter. <laughs> it seems like I've been eating butter. Mmm, that's a little apple tart. Very, it's like got a sour tang to it. Hmm. I think it's apple. I feel like it'd be something tropical. And we got a Cuban sandwich. Mm, it's so far so delicious, but I didn't realize it would have like two different types of meat on it. That is interesting. Okay. So the sandwich is pretty good. I mean, it makes sense. Cuban sandwich, Cuban bakery. But when you get a bite that has the pickle in it, it's amazing. Somehow, this is both dense and fluffy. And I don't like fruits, but this jam is good. Trying out the French toast. And I realized the key to what makes this so freaking good is that this is cream cheese spread. It's not butter. That's why it's so amazing. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't realize. How do you like your sandwich? It's good. It's like a simple home style sandwich, but yeah, the pickles are really good in it. The bread is fantastic. I don't know what the yellow stuff is, but whatever Mustard. it is, it's good. Right? Mustard? That would make a lot of sense. <laughs> so we've been back from our road trip for a few days now, and we decided since it's 115 degrees outside, that it is time to hopefully cut into a delicious, refreshing, 
yellow melon and not a yellow melon that they sold to us because it's yellow and rotten. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, am I doing the honors? Whoa, Ooh. holy cow. Whoa. That actually worked. That I did not expect really, it to slice so easily. <laughs> it doesn't smell rotten. Babe, you're one in a melon. <laughs> You know, I probably should have gotten us a cutting board. Ready? Oh, are we gonna cheers it? <laughs> that was good. They're pretty delicious. It's not as sweet, I don't feel like, as regular. No. But not in a bad way. I feel like it's got a denser flavor. I wanna try my favorite way to have a regular watermelon, which is with. On it. We do what we call eat noon. I think it's like Himalayan. It has a different flavor. Interesting. It's like a more rocky kind of flavor. It's minerally flavor. In India, they do what you were talking about? I think I prefer it without. I think I do too. I think like with the regular watermelon, the sea salt adds so much because it's already so sweet and it like adds mm -hmm. the. But this isn't as sweet. That is strange that that's a common combination. I feel like it's only been a thing with watermelon. That's salt? Salt, yeah. The fact that I'm eating so much of this is a good sign. I don't like fruits. The heat probably has something to do with it. And the fact that it's not too sweet. I'm making hey, juice everywhere. They said it was seedless, but I see seeds everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but those are the seeds that are seedless for some reason. The white seeds. That is true though. It's like a miss. That's false advertising. This watermelon just an extremely juicy fruit. I know it is, but is it this much? It's juicy, I don't know. Man. Okay, next episode, comparison. JK. Probably. <laughs> I don't think this will last that long. How do you not get it all over your face? I have them. Now we'll put them in the fridge and they'll be really cold and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yellow watermelon. So, yeah, yellow watermelon was a success. Highly recommend stopping at the farmer's markets if you're on the boring drab i5 drive and they're super nice people too they told us all about their squash and fruits and let us walk around a little it's really nice catch you next time remember to subscribe i think that actually is where it's gonna be i was just kind of like doing the youtube thing <laughs> but yeah remember to subscribe and uh we'll see you next week hello <laughs> So we've been back from, whoa, okay. Hello, friends. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> it was so perfectly still earlier. Okay, we, oh gosh, hi Ben. Oh, so embarrassing. Hello. It's me, Long. <laughs> Get it? Oh. No, it's yellow, it's Milan. No one. No. What? Hello, it's Melon, like M E, but the song is Hello. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's me. me. I thought you were going up for like Elon Musk or something. I'm in Oh, I shouldn't shake with my mouth. Yeah. I'm in California dreaming about when it's not 115 degrees. How come you're only the edge of the air face? I'm looking this at is you my good sign. for the reflection. One of the these long ones is mine. Nope. Yes. Mine. Yes. I put, these are only my small ones, and I had a big one first. You say so. We're just going to leave that there in this whole drive? No. He's going to leave it there. Nice. Wraps a cord around the cheese. I used to be able to do that. I could like spin it on the bottom and then bounce it straight from the ground. Can you, can you twirl that on your finger? Is it too heavy? No, that's too heavy. <laughs> it's way too heavy. Oh gosh, hey, that's kind of impressive. Okay. Toss it up in the air and slice it with a knife. What's that game called? Fruit Ninja! Oh, did you think about the fact that this is my good side when you chose to yeah. sit there? Did you really? That's so sweet. Uh. It's like all in your beard. Yellow watermelon, yellow juices dripping, yellow 
hands after you eat it. Look at me now. Look at me now. I'm eating your watermelon. Look at me now. Look at me now. Hey, I'm fresher than somebody not eating yellow watermelon.